Hey, what's up? Enver Somba here and this is Cluevo. We bring you the best learning management system on WordPress. Today I will show you how to set up the Cluevo LMS with WooCommerce to sell your courses online in an automated way. For this, you need the Cluevo Pro Bundle, which you can buy in our online store. You can find the link below in the video description. First of all, a very important information. In order to sell your courses online through your website, the following plugins are necessary. The free Cluevo LMS and the Cluevo LMS extension, which you can purchase on our website for $119. And in order to have the main e-commerce applications available, you also need the free WooCommerce plugin. Install and activate these three plugins so that you can perform the next steps. First, we start with creating the necessary webshop pages. To do this, I navigate to the Pages menu item and click the Add New button. I start with our store page and add a new Gutenberg block. Then I search for the block shortcode and copy in the WooCommerce shortcode for the store page. Of course, you can find all the shortcodes used here in the video description below. Now I repeat the same process with the shopping cart page, the checkout page and the profile page. Now I switch to the WooCommerce settings menu item. In the first tab, general, I complete the billing address of the webshop. In my example, this would be New York City. Then I adjust the country specific currency and finish the process with save changes. In the next tab products I select our just created store page. And can also adjust the units if I plan to sell a physical product in the future. Again, I close the whole process with the Save Changes button. At the point Inventory, I deactivate the stock management because we will sell a digital product. At the point Downloadable Products, I recommend to activate the function that the downloads should only be available for logged in users. We can also skip the shipping tab since our products will be consumed digitally. We now turn to the payment options tab and I will show you how to set up the most important settings for payment with PayPal. I set PayPal as the default payment option and enter the email address of my PayPal account here. At the end, just save the changes again. In the tab Accounts and Privacy, we should activate or deactivate the following features. In the emails tab, I have the option to customize the entire communication in the sales process with the customer. Here is an example of what 
a message looks like after a customer has purchased a product. We can also skip the integration tab again and now customize the page settings in the last tab. Here you need to correctly assign the already created store pages so that the sales process can run correctly. We recommend you the free plugin Uncanny Toolkit to use the advanced menu settings. Install also this plugin and activate the feature Menu Item Visibility. Next, we navigate to the Item Appearance menu and create the following menu structure. Once the menu structure is created, we can now select which menu items are visible to whom, thanks to the Uncanny Toolkit. At the end, don't forget to save the changes with the Save Menu button. Now we will create a product in our online store for the sample course Marketing Basics. For this purpose I have already created a group in Cluevo User Management in advance, which has access permission to this course. In the video course Groups and Permission levels we show you how to create groups and assign access permissions. Now I switch to the menu item Products and select Add New. Give the new product a name and add a course description. The course is, of course, a virtual product. I want to sell the Marketing Fundamentals course regularly for $95. But I start with the reduced price of $79. In the Advanced tab, I now select the Cluevo group I created earlier. Which means that after a successful purchase, the customer will automatically be given this group permission. This gives the customer access to this course content after login. Last but not least, I add a text in the product short description and complete the product with a preview image. With the Publish button, the process is saved and published. Now, if we have done all the settings correctly, the result for the customer will look like this. The store page is now filled with all existing products. The online courses can be viewed in detail by clicking on the tile and can also be added directly to the shopping cart. In the shopping cart itself, the customer can check his order again or enter possible discount codes, but also bring the purchase to completion. If the customer is not yet registered, then he will be presented with a form and can then make the purchase via PayPal.